Suppose there is anything Nigerians love to hear more than Niger Jalof is better than Ghana Jalof or that they are the originators of the Afrobeat sound. In this case, it's that a famous international celebrity is a Nigerian. About two years ago, when popular American rapper Lil Wayne traced his African roots and discovered he's 53% Nigerian, social media erupted like fireworks for days due to overexcitement. Once again, this happened after the beautiful Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, revealed that she has Niger blood and is 43% Nigerian. The mother of two reportedly disliked by the British royals due to her controversial nature and mixed race made this shocking revelation during a special episode of her Spotify original podcast, Archetypes, on October 25, 2022. Speaking about upending the angry black woman myth with American TV personality Issa Rae and Ziwe, Meghan Markle explained she took a genealogy test several years ago to dig deeper into her African roots only to find out that she is 43% Nigerian. I was incredibly excited to see down with Ziwe, a Nigerian-American comedian, actress, and writer. I just had my genealogy done a couple years ago. What? What are you? 43% Nigerian. No way! <laughs> no, whoa, Jacque. Oh my gosh, are you really serious? Yeah. <gasps> Ziwe, also of Nigerian descent, got so excited that she asked, this is huge. Ibo Yoruba, do we know? Before you all get too excited, the 41-year-old Duchess unfortunately isn't even in the know but promised to dig deeper about a cultural tribe. I'm going to start to dig deeper into all this because anybody that I have told, especially Nigerian women, are like, what? She answered. Well, it turns out Ziwe wasn't surprised as she added that Megan does look like an Igbo auntie she knows. This is huge for our community. No, honestly, you do look like a Nigerian. You look like my aunt Uzo. So this is great. Oh my goodness, Uzo. <laughs> Shout out. As if trying to make a strong statement about feeling connected to our roots and heritage, the mixed race retired actress donated an unspecified amount to charities working in Nigeria to help provide relief for millions of Nigerians displaced due to the devastating flood in many states. Somehow, since the podcast aired, Nigerians have refused to focus on the donation for flood victims. Instead, many have reacted wildly to the news of Meghan Markle having Niger blood in her. For some on social media, it has become an I told you so moment, explaining why the suit star actress is headstrong and has been given the British royals grief since she married Prince Harry. Other Nigerians have been trying to give the Duchess a tribal name, with some already calling her Olua Megomi Kuro, Megara and the likes. But hey, if you know Nigerians very well, then you would know that all the bands didn't end here. Stay tuned as we review some top shocking reactions to the Duchess of Sussex Nigerian descent reveal. Hello guys, it's t here for African Glitz. If there is any global personality who needs absolutely no introduction, that would be Meghan Markle. Today, the beautiful mother of two is widely referred to as the Duchess of Sussex, but before that title, it was just Meghan the actress. Rachel Meghan Markle was born to a Caucasian father and an African-American mother on August 4, 1981. Having a father who is an Emmy award-winning television lighting director and director of photography came with lots of perks, including living in the highbrow area of Los Angeles, California and having access to the set of many movie productions. As a result, Meghan fell in love with acting. She naturally pursued a career in acting, starting with earning a first degree in theatre and international studies from Northwestern University and then breaking into Hollywood. Unfortunately, it wasn't a smooth journey despite her father's connections. According to the actress, she wasn't black enough for the black roles and wasn't white enough for the white ones. After taking many minor roles, Meghan finally hit the jackpot in 2011 when she joined the cast of American TV drama legal series, Suit, as Rachel Zane. While the show ran between 2010 and 2018, the Duchess got married and divorced, started a lifestyle blog, launched two clothing lines, and did lots of charity work focused on women's issues and social justice. The tide, however, changed in 2018 after getting married to Prince Harry, a grandson of the late Queen Elizabeth II and son of the late Princess Diana and King Charles III. The 41-year-old actress retired from acting to perform a role as a member of the British Royals. But less than two years after, Meghan and Prince Harry dropped a bombshell that made her the most trolled celebrity ever. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped down as walking royals in January 2020, leading to their relocation to California. 
getting heat from all angles. Many tagged the beautiful Duchess as a narcissist who separated Prince Harry from his family. Some called her mean and several other explosive reports about how she treated the royal staff poorly. Attacks also came from her family, especially her estranged father and paternal half-siblings. Regardless, Meghan went on to do an explosive interview with media mogul Oprah Winfrey where she told a little side of her story, confirming that being a member of the British Royals isn't all whining and dining when one is half white and half black. The mother of two revealed how the British Royals were not very welcoming towards her and even her then unborn first child. We have in tandem the conversation of, he won't be given security, he is not going to be given a title, and also concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he is born, she told Oprah. Despite all the controversies she managed to spin in the past few years, Meghan is very much liked by a larger group of people who have compared her to the late Princess Diana for her willfulness, tenacity and how she defies the British royals like no man's business. Who knows, it's one of the things that endeared Prince Harry, who loved his late mom very much, towards Meghan Markle. We would never know, but we know that many Nigerians now believe these traits are very Nigerian and it's no surprise she has Nigerian blood in her. This is following recent revelations from the Duchess of Sussex that a genealogy report say she is 43% Nigerian. While Meghan doesn't even know if she is from the major tribes, you know, Igbo, Yoruba or Hausa or the minor tribes, Nigerians have been excited over the news, welcoming her to the fold and, of course, reacting wildly on social media. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle Foundation donated an unspecified amount to charities working in Nigeria for devastated victims affected by the recent flood to solidify acclaim and love for Nigeria. According to Sky News, in a press release, a Spotify representative confirmed the Atchewal Foundation have made donations to both UNICEF and Save the Children. The spokesperson said the donation of an undisclosed amount would help provide relief following devastating floods wrecking havoc in Nigeria. The 2022 Nigerian floods have reportedly affected most West African countries, displacing 1.3 million people, over 600 lost lives and more than 2,400 injured. Reacting over Meghan Markle's new revelation on Instagram, a user wrote, No wonder, I knew her coconut head was familiar. Another user wrote, Now where she get her stubborn ass from? Omwe Another wrote, Hello someone, that's my cousin. That was before her grandma got married to her white boss, before they eloped to Europe. I can share her contact if you want to. Also reacting, an Instagram user wrote, No wonder Nigerians won't stop having her back. But Ashagi wrote on Instagram, Bessi we I know, Niger Bugena, Odogbolu, ask anyone there for Ile Babamaku. Popular writer Solomon Buchi wrote, She's actually Igbo from Imo State. Her name is Chinyere Sandra Chukumega. That's where they got Megan from. Sharing the news on her page, Diary of a Ninja Girl wrote, First of all, Megan looks like a titi or probably a bosse. If her grandparents stayed back, they would have called her Ife. Please don't enter my comments to argue, I know a Yoruba girl when I see one. Also reacting, a user wrote, All these Yoruba people claiming Megan. Look into her gorgeous face and you'll know she can only be Calabar. Emma Basi, welcome home my darling. Another IG user wrote, Madam, you lie. No Nigerian woman will give up royal title. Run the test again, you are 43% Ghanaian. Appreciating the Duchess for donating to flood victims, a Twitter user wrote, A true Nigerian daughter sends money to the family when they are in need. Njideka Meghan Markle, you do well. Talking about how Nigerians have shunned aid towards the Duchess of Sussex, a Twitter user wrote, Should we be scared of Nigerian Twitter? The way they silence Meghan Markle's online hate overnight needs to be studied. Asking Nigerians to start defending her, Senator Shehu Sonny tweeted, Now that we know Meghan Markle is 43% Nigerian, all Nigerians have a family duty to ensure that she is defended against bullying by those stereotype media. So tell us guys, what do you think about Meghan Markle's Nigerian origin? Do you agree it's why she's stubborn? Like someone said, can a Nigerian ever drop a royal title? Lastly, if Megan is really Nigerian, what tribe do you think she comes from? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be notified every time I upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.